way. Well, taking a trip back in time, hundreds of people are enjoying the 22nd annual Folsom Renaissance Fair this weekend. And as KCRA 3's May Fasai tells us, it's a chance to relive the past. The Englishman is drinking the finest English ale. The stage is set to go back in time. Make your way for the mayor of Newcastle. A time when magic and mayhem. And lords and ladies defined the Renaissance period. I'm a Dutch privateer, also a spice merchant. I travel the world uh, bringing joy and spices. The 22nd annual Folsom Renaissance Fair is a chance to relive history. Nice to step back in time. I like to get dressed up fancy. While educating the youngest of fairgoers of what life was like centuries ago, when henna tattoos was the form of expression now replaced by Snapchat, and when a good pheasant's leg was a badge of honor. There is indeed about that image that people like to walk around, and you know that big Henry VIII image that comes with it, sitting at the Renaissance Fair, sitting outside, pulling this thing apart, being manly men or pirates or you know dainty women trying to cut them with their their knife and fork. I like introducing them to new things that they haven't really seen or experienced before and they have fun learning about new things. The fair usually draws in over 5,000 people to Folsom Lions Park. For many people, local fairs become a family tradition. My connection is my aunt who's hiding over here, but this is my connection to the fair. We've been coming for a few years together and she brought me as a younger teenager. Reminding us no matter what time period we live in, life is a unique experience. In Folsom, May Fasai, KCRA 3 News. And the Renaissance Fair continues tomorrow from 10 a.m. till 5 in the evening at Folsom Lions Park.